Hey everybody, I'm that one cat, and welcome back to Stock Photo Bonanza, Cartoon Bonanza. I don't know what what I'm doing anymore, but uh, I have a new photo today, a new stock photo that I'm I'm gonna turn into a cartoon, and I think I actually found one that has some practical use. It, it actually looks like a legitimate thing that you would see in an advertisement or at a store or something. Uh, here it is over here, over there, and uh, I can see this being used for a music store or like an electronic store. It says like, ride the music, you know? I can see this being used for something, whereas like Santa Claus pitching his nipples, I don't know what the hell you're gonna use that for. I mean, that's that's too specific. You gotta be broad when you're when you're making stock photography. You can't be, you can't go right for the, for the niche, you know? But anyway, I'm gonna draw this. If you guys wanna draw it too, you can draw it and then tweet it to me at at at, at one cat cartoon. Eventually, I'll I should have made my thing at that one cartoon. I don't know why I didn't do that. I think it was already taken. So, um, you can tweet me your pictures at at one cat cartoon on the screen, and uh, I'll feature them at the end of my next video. I actually have some that I'm going to be featuring at the end of this video, and I'm pretty excited to show you guys because I thought I thought they're all really good, and uh, it it made me feel proud that. I got people to draw something as stupid as a fat old man with a lollipop and cigar. So stick around until the end of the video if you want to see that, and uh, let's jump right into it. So when I first started looking up the weird stock photography, yeah, I had seen stuff ever here and there in memes and whatnot, but I never like really looked up anything. And I, at first it was all just like really random, but the more that I've like looked it up, it seems like there's genres. Like a lot of the photos are actually similar. And I, I don't know if they're like the same company that makes them, but there, there's a lot of ones with like, like a dude with a noose like there's all sorts of poses with like a noose around his neck or like there's a lot with like guns but a lot of the times the guns are being loaded with like really weird objects like crayons one was like a guy loading a gun with crayons as bullets another one was a chef loading a gun with pasta shells I, I, like if i if i went to a, like a like a Italian restaurant and that was like the logo I don't think I'd want to eat there I don't know what kind of food they're serving where this guy is in the back with a pasta gun Alright, they were done. Alright, anyway, here's the finished product. Da, dun, da, dun, da. Um, I like this one. I like how this one turned out. Uh, I've been taking some courses online recently about how to draw, and I feel like I've gotten a lot better. Um, compared to the- I mean, I like the other two. The other two are fun, but I feel like this one looks more finished. It just looks more refined to me. I'm sure in a couple weeks I'll look back and think this looks like shit, but I like it now. That's what's important. I like it now. I'm, I'm usually not very confident in my own artwork, but I like this one. But you guys can let me know in the comments what you thought. Like I said in the previous videos, if you guys ever draw any of the weird stock photography that I draw, you can tweet it to me and I'll feature it at the end of my next video. So here are a few of the ones that we have so far. Remember, you can do any of the ones that I've already drawn. So if you want to do Watermelon Helmet Dude, if you want to do Creepy Man with Lollipop or Guy Ryan the Speaker, you can do any of the ones that I've already done, and I'll post them at the end of my next video. So in conclusion, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I really enjoyed doing this. And I have a few more stock photos that I'm going to do, but if you guys have any ideas, I'd love to see them, so you can tweet them at me. And if you guys want to support my stuff and get yourself on the wall of awesome cats, um, you can support me on Patreon. 
and yeah it helps keep the lights on and it helps keep me out of the garbage so if you want to keep this cat out of the garbage support me on patreon or you can just share my work uh sharing stuff with your friends and showing my videos to your grandma your teacher dude anyone just anyone ice cream man who i don't care just show it to someone it's a huge support it really is so thank you for watching and i'll see you next time